I just think that this is such an important aspect of our pedagogical approach that I want to extend it a little bit further and think about how we interfere with the, our very youngest children. I think that when we think about play and older children, we can we think about that more easily, but we are very, very quick to interfere with infants and toddlers. Um, often very directly and physically moving them without so much as a buy your leave um, and that kind of, of thing and not letting them struggle and it's understandable you know when a, when a baby is rolling over for the perhaps for the first time and their arm is stuck underneath them we kind of our urge our natural urge is to help this child and that's okay but actually if we help that child at that point, um, then they are not learning how maybe if they just shift their weight the other way, their arm will come free. Obviously, if a child's very distressed, you do something about it. But struggling when you're, you know, an infant means going eh, 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 uh, and then you're free. And what that underpins very, very importantly is a sense of mastery, as Stella said earlier, and competence and autonomy. And if we're really serious about helping children to develop the dispositions for lifelong learning, so it's not the what they learn, it's the attitudes and dispositions that we can help them to develop in their very earliest years that's going to enable them to be lifelong learners, then that mastery, struggle, and autonomy and perseverance and motivation is is what is so so important so we need to step back and allow children to take things where they're going in the way they are they can and the way they are interested in doing so